I love burritos and tacos. I love Mexican, I love food. I love food. Hello everybody, it's Barry here. Hope you are well. Welcome to our kitchen. Today, I have set myself the challenge of trying to make a three course meal, or start a main dessert, a little asterisk, in a muffin pan. Okay, uh, you might not have a muffin pan, you could also use a cupcake one, but uh, this is slightly bigger and I've got some stonking ideas that I hope are going to work. And in fact, there's quite a lot of steps to it, so I'm going to preheat my oven, get that going, we've got some water boiling, and then I'll tell you what we're actually making. This is a pan of simmering water and I've just stuck some spaghetti in it. We're going to cook this up because we actually need it cold. So cook your spaghetti to package instructions. In this tin we've got some meatballs and they're going to go with the spaghetti. Massive hint as to what the main course muffin uh, should actually be. This all came about because me and Mrs B were talking about the muffin man. I'm the muffin man! Like, oh, that's a video idea, isn't it? So the starter, or kind of like a breakfast thing, we're going to use bacon. So I've got some rushes of bacon here that I'm going to line. We're just going to bake that as well. We've got the oven going. Might as well use it at the same time. And for the first time ever, when I've done homemade sausage and egg McMuffins before, people have told me that you can get like frozen sausage meat patties, like the perfect shaped ones they use. I couldn't find those, but in the freezer aisle they had some like sausage meat. And it's pork, it's seasoned, I left it out to defrost overnight. It's probably just going to be pork, oh no! Oh yeah, that is actually seasoned. I thought it was going to be pork mince, but it is a bit more than that. I'm going to shape these into little discs, and you'll see why for our breakfast starter. Now typically when you bake and cook uh, meat, it shrinks up a little bit, so I'm trying to just make it into a patty shape like a burger, and just making it slightly larger than I need. I'll explain exactly what I'm doing in a minute, but we're gonna get all this in the oven now. Oh, my oven's just about to preheat as well, that's perfect. I gotta be honest, I'm using smoky bacon as well. This smells so good. It's like half past eight, I just had like cornflakes for breakfast, and now I really, I'll, actually I will be having this for my brunch. So the bacon and the pork going down there, meatballs on top, just cooking them to package instructions. So the three courses we're doing today, if you've not guessed it already, the main course is going to be spaghetti meatballs, but we're going to try and encase a meatball inside a pre-cooked spaghetti basket with sauce, mozzarella, all that stuff. <sighs> we're going to be doing like a breakfast starter where the case should be bread, where we bake uh, bacon around it, sausage, those patties, they're going to be a disc at the bottom with an egg in the middle and maybe some cheese, I don't know, we'll see how that goes, but the bread should hold it all together. Should. I was kind of going for like an Egg McMuffin vibe by putting the sausage patty in the base, so that's why I made it a disc shape so it can sort of fit in there inside our bread, which we're also going to bake in here as a basket. A bread basket! Yes! And lastly, but we're going to move on to that right now because we need to get it chilled, we're going to do a toffee apple pie. And you could do any filling you want. We need the pastry nice and chilled, so let's get going. The camera's not really doing it justice, and this is a fairly large satsuma, uh, and it's not completely encasing that, whereas that wouldn't probably fit in a cupcake tray. This is actually quite a big tin. We normally make Yorkshire puddings with this, which means our pie is going to be well, pretty deep filled, just like the rest of it, actually. We're going to need a lot of egg for that breakfast one. Didn't think of that. Whoops. So this is just some ready-made pie crust. So it's been left out to room temperature. Always do that, otherwise it won't roll that great. And we'll just take one off for the time being. If we've got any extra, I don't know if we do, we can either do a lid on it, or we could maybe be cheeky and do a little lattice one. Let's see what happens. The lattice, see what happens. Very quick diversion because our spaghetti is cooked. Oh my gosh, steamy. Uh, we're just gonna put that back on the pan and we do want it to cool, so just let it stand there whilst we crack on with our other stuff. We got ourselves a little case, now I wanna make two, so I'll put another one here, uh, about now. So what I've been doing is just pinching the edges together, just to neaten it up slightly with my fingers and thumbs, give it a nice little border. Now annoyingly we need to chill this, okay, because if we don't, the, the dough will just slide apart, even with the filling in there. So that'll help it hold its shape when it bakes. So our kind of muffin tin is now out of order. We're going to chill this for 30 minutes, which is why I'm cooking all my other bits, so we can work on the pie filling. Well, the good thing is we have got lots of that dough left over, and that is our first case done. The other one's going to be out of bread which I mean is firm, so we should be able to, you know, when you squish bread, it does become pretty rigid, to be fair. The other one with the spaghetti, uh, we might use egg white, actually, or even egg yolk, I think, to, to kind of hold it and grip it. Should have thought about that. Bacon is enticing everyone today. Like, Mrs. B comes in, she's like, it smells like holiday bacon. Like, what the heck yeah. is holiday bacon? Well, it just, the smell reminds me of being on holiday, because when we were kids and we'd go on holiday, my dad would always 
want to do a cooked breakfast every morning. Every morning, yeah, I like that. that sounds yeah, good. Yeah, I know, that's a nice holiday. <laughs> yeah. And the smell, he like, I don't know, it just reminds me, that smoky bacon smell. We're working on the apple pie filling. Mrs B, I tempted her with bacon, so she's kindly helped me peel these apples. These are big cooking apples, three of those. Yeah, um, and I thoroughly recommend this peeler. It's got a very comfy grip. Oh, you mean the one with your husband's name on? Yes. <laughs> For the uh, pie filling, we're just sort of like stewing the apple. You can buy tins of ready stewed apple. I've done that on a 4321 video before, which is pretty cool. We can kind of toffee apple this ourselves and do other fruit fillings if you want. We're not going to put sugar in because uh, of the toffee. And that is three tablespoons of water. I'm just waiting on the apples now, all right? Okay, I'll speed up. All right, <laughs> uh, meatballs, nice and cooked through like that, looking lovely jubbly. Uh, and also the pork patties, you can see how much they've actually shrunk. Uh, this is where the bacon was, you can see the trail. Um, but they have cooked through and they should sit lovely in the bottom of our breakfast cup. So into the uh, buffet serving bowl. Oh wow, that is a lot. <laughs> but it will reduce down, it will soften up once it settles. And the sauce is going there as well, it's gonna be amazing. So onto a medium low heat soften it it's gonna take about 20 minutes and all that time whilst that's cooking away our pastry is firming up hopefully 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 to give it a nice firm case you can see that bubbling away there but it has reduced down I'm not sure you can see uh, it happens quite quickly it looks a bit like pineapple and if you want to be cheeky you could add some cinnamon nutmeg maybe some vanilla in there other fruits like pears whatever you like really Look at your apples now. Oh, it's like when the kids were weaning and we gave them a stewed <laughs> apple. Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> I miss those days where you just give them food that there's no questions. They question everything now. <laughs> Where's this from? It can just sort of stay warm like that whilst we add in. This is a jar of caramel sauce, that Dolce de Leche stuff. I never pronounced that right, but you see me make that before. Homemade caramel sauce, exactly the same thing. This is made more with condensed milk, mm -hmm. so it's a little bit richer. It's kind of got that sort of creamy cooked taste a bit more. Um, a spin? A sp <laughs> I was just gonna just stick the whole jar in. I know, I was so... We probably need about 200 grams. Oh, that looks amazing. So if you wanna <gasps> stir that through. Oh yes. So that should give it a lovely little uh, taste and color. And that'll be our filling for our toffee apple pie, which we can let cool, because it will go straight into the cases and warm up again. Oh, I don't wanna put it in a pie now. I just want to eat it as it is. <laughs> That's nice. Wow. All right, so from the fridge, nice and cool, noticeably firmer, but every second, whilst it's at room temperature, counts. So we need to fill this up with our apple pie filling. Oh my gosh. And we've got some strips left that I'm just gonna lie across. Mrs. B's egg washing, optional, but it will actually help bond those strips together. Depends if it's a ready-made one. If it's an all-butter one, they tend to sort of go nice golden color anyway. But this sugar, putting that on there is optional as well, but that'll just grip to the egg. So these are going in the oven right now. Yeah, we can't really bake them all at the same time. Um, we wanna make sure they're done and they can be eaten cold anyway. So let's see how it goes. I've got high hopes for that. I have no idea if this is gonna work. These are two egg whites. We're hoping this will give it some strength for our spaghetti. Right, I'm not going all full meringue style, but that should hopefully help coat our cooled and cooked spaghetti. <laughs> it's like it's in a little bubble bath or something. Cheese, so this is some parmesan. And the only other thing is because we're going for that spaghetti meatball vibe, we are gonna quickly cook the meatballs in the sauce, but we might as well see if we can stain it a little bit as well. Because as that cools, that will fill any gaps. We can bake the sauce through. So let's just add, I don't know, a couple of tablespoons. It's like a veggie pat one that we got, so hopefully the veg will fill the gaps too. I, th I think it's gonna work, you know. When you bake spaghetti, it does go rigid. It's just if we can get the egg whites to help kind of become like a, a filler. And we're waiting on that muffin tin with a pie in it, and then we can press it in and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, bake this into shape. Da, 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 here we go, let's get this out. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm really happy with those. Oh, oh this is super delicate. But we need our tin back. The spaghetti into our now cleaned muffin pan. Let's see if we can do it. Oh my gosh, that's it in. <laughs> it's like slime. Just, Just go for it. Yeah? Yeah. What and then? Because normally when you do love like a pasta bake, spaghetti goes quite hard. Yeah, it does, yeah. Anyway, so when you cook, it should, yeah. The Mrs. B to one side has got some mozzarella there, because I kind of had the idea that we can, might be able to add some strength to the base. If we bake some mozzarella in, that could plug any gaps as well. It is like a little nest for the meatball, isn't it? <laughs> 
hardest thing is trying to make it look tidy. I really don't know. It looks like little Easter egg nests with the mozzarella pearls. But I think they're going to help. Plus, they're going to add mozzarella in there, which of course is needed. We're going to bake this for about 15 minutes and see what happens. So in it goes. Uh, and let's just cross our fingers. I'm just thinking the egg white, it does foam up and it could sort of, you know, it's crystallized the right word. It just kind of gives things strength. If it does its job, the Parmesan too, the sauce, the spaghetti all firming up with the mozzarella, we could have a nest. Wait. Okay, out the oven, 15 minutes. The mozzarella has formed an amazing platform. The smell of the baked sauce is beautiful. The spaghetti is crispy, but underneath it's a little soft still, just from the heat. So we need to let this cool down, which is fine because we're kind of going to warm up the sauce with the meatballs on. You're going to get that lovely combination of the warm meatballs and the sauce. We like the cooler nest, and that's the best way to get it out. If I try and get it out now, it's just going to go bleh. I think the egg white's done something. Annoyingly for me, I can't really move on until I've got these out. I wish I had another muffin tin, but I'm willing to wait. In the write-up, I might mention that a cupcake case or a muffin case, as I say, would probably help massively here, because um, we've still got to get it out. I might see if I can just go under, like this. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's hanging a little bit on the side. It's fine, we have a nest. <laughs> The bottom was a little bit like a snake, a little bit, uh, it was just hanging on, but we've done it. Oh my gosh, right, I'll get the other one out. And the last one is our brunch one. We need to bake bread and eggs in this. You can see the color difference from where the spaghetti has been baked at the top where it was more exposed and this one's hidden away, but that has, I'm happy with that. That looks awesome. We just trimmed the crust off, old school. Were you like that at school, Mrs. B? Did you? Um, take your crust off so you're getting hair, curly hair. Do you yeah, remember? I didn't eat my crust. You can seal it together, but we've got the rolling pin there, so you can kind of make it one fairly consistent strip like that. Look at that. Nice. All right, so if we need another bit, and do the other side as well. Look, you see the join? Look at that. There we go. <laughs> just, yeah, just sort of let it just ease in, yeah, and we can just cut off the edges. Nice little bread basket. So to be honest, it's actually been quite easy to do this, hasn't it, Mrs. B? It has, You've yeah. just been like pinching it, like the pastry, and if you get like a an overlap, you can just press it in, and it joins quite nicely. It's easy to manipulate, and um, we bake this up, we should have some toast cups. Nice. <laughs> just about to put this in the oven, Phoebe in the distance, laughing at my T-shirt. Yeah. What's wrong with my T-shirt? I just realised what it is. It's a pug, a unicorn, and a dinosaur. Isn't that what most other dads wear? <laughs> no, not really. Five minutes, don't want to brown it in any way. I've let it cool a teeny bit and you can see that these are actually quite strong now. Uh, and with the egg it cast in there, it'd be even better. So let's get our sausage patty in there. I've just trimmed it to shape. Uh, I don't know if there's any right or wrong, but what I'm going to do is actually just stick the bacon in. I don't know, like shards sticking up. Separated some eggs off camera so the yolks can go in, but we're going to probably need a bit more. So we actually used four eggs in total. Okay, it's not seeping through yet. That looks good. It's weird to think that's an egg. It's the egg white, honestly, which I'm gonna season. Push the egg yolk in. Oh, yes. Just try it, there we go. I just didn't wanna damage it. Keeping them chilled was ideal. We now bake this for 25 minutes. And I really don't wanna drop this now. Me too. No, I'm, I'm all good, mate. I've got the dog's support. They're lying down. Yeah, I'm feeling the power of the pug. Do not drop this, Barry. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think we're there. All right, they're in. Brilliant. Bake away. So what we're looking for are those egg whites, and there is quite a bit of that there to hold and obviously cook, but keep the bacon and the sausage in place encased in its own toasted bread basket. Oh. The only other thing to do, because the pie is going to be cold, is to warm up our meatballs in the marinara sauce, but we'll do that at the end once that's ready. So we can prepare for that stage now. So just warm in the meatballs in the sauce, a little extra parmesan on top. Oh my goodness. So just thicken it up a little bit. And I think when I get that egg out, it'll be time to showcase all three. All right, folks, the baking ones are out of the oven looking amazing. I think the egg is fairly set, but it was a lot of white, so I'm happy with that. Covered it in foil to stop the baking catching, and I returned it all together, and it's been in the oven just warm slightly, so it is able to be held, and it's time to put that meatball in the middle of our nest. Oh, my gosh. So the sauce is warmed back up as well. The nests are warm. Might probably be a bit delicate. Don't really hold it straight away. Some more Parmesan on top just to melt on there. Oh, there we go. Let's go for it. Make sure I put it on the middle one and not on the pie. 
And then a nice little sprinkle of my nickname, Freshly Chopped Basil, or just Basil for short. And that is looking brilliant. Now when it comes to the pie, the cold is gonna be fine. I'm just gonna give it a little dusting. Again, making sure I don't get any of that on the meatball, although it probably wouldn't be too bad. If I hold that up, that is blooming stonking. Three courses in a muffin tray. Do one, it'll only take you 10 minutes. Amazing. Now the bread should, yes. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> it really has toasted it. It's more like a pita bread now. Do you want, you guys weren't off camera, they were like, I'm not sure keen on that. Looks no. a bit scary. I'll go apple pie. Yeah, I'll go meatballs. Meatballs, apple pie, all right. I've just got to see if I can get this to pop out. It might. Oh. oh <laughs> look at that. I might just bite into my breakfast cup. Oh, yeah, you could just bite into your pie. Do you want a knife, please? Mmm. Mmm, 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 Oh my gosh, this apple pie is amazing. This is just like a compilation of weird noises. <laughs> that bread is amazing. It's like, t it's just like eating toast. I, hit, I can't really see it too well. The heat and the patty at the bottom. The egg is all cooked through. Um, it's not soft bunny egg, unfortunately, but we'll take that. A bit through the bacon too. Maybe some ketchup with it, but that is amazing. Oh. Chloe, mm -hmm. I can hear noises from you. What is yours like? Is it good? Mm. Well, I have to admit it, it is stunky. Brilliant. U unicorn t-shirts unite. <laughs> Miss B, how this, is that? This is amazing. I'm not going to make an apple pie without this caramel stuff in it again. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Mm. Well, it did take quite a long time. It's actually been um, four and a half hours in total doing that. Um, so I would recommend doing one at a time and I'll type the recipes up all individually, but I wanted to set myself the challenge of doing three separate courses in a tin and we've done it and it's, it's, it's fun. So I hope you try it. If you do just like any other recipes, send me a photo on social media. Don't forget to subscribe for regular videos and I'll see you next time. I'm Bye. Bye mate. Very hungry. Check your level player, no matter what your style, the kitchen's for me, Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. I just wanted to get like one final more close up on these. It's just actually been a really fun challenge. And that could be a little Easter thing maybe, <laughs> having meatballs instead of eggs. And this is just quite dainty. But beware of the filling, it is gorgeous. There we go. Really hope you try it. That kind of looks like the thing from Stranger Things, the Dermagordon, whatever it is.